everybody, this is Chris Kaplan with Christina's Collection and today I'm going to show you how to use a wonderful tool that I found on Sharon Johnson's website and it's called Bow Easy. These are uh, some bows that I made with this template. This is the, the Bow Easy and if you want to order the instructions will be at the end. Each one of these slots is one size of a bow, so you can make seven different from three quarters, one inch, one and a quarter, up to two three quarters inch ribbon. Okay. This is a one inch, but anyway, we're gonna uh, do it. I try it and it fits perfectly. So even when it's done up to one inch, we're gonna do it. All right, let's start with the teeny tiniest ribbon that I had in my studio. Now you're gonna hold the template with your finger, with your fingers, your thumb, and just gonna put the ribbon under the thumb and wrap it around the bow easy, like this. Catch the ribbon under your thumb and then Grab the end of the ribbon and make it through, go, uh, put it through the space above the ribbon. Put it in the back. But don't do it all the way because you need this loop to tie the ribbon, okay? Alright, slowly. Hard. And flip it over and look how your bow is going to look. Just it a little and pull slide it out. And you just got to arrange a little bit, fix a little bit. Sometimes it twists. Ribbon, you twist it and cut the ends. And that's it. If you know me, you know that I can make a bow. No way, I mean, it doesn't matter what size. And with this tool, look at the teeny tiny bow that I just made. And I'm really pleased and I'm really impressed with this wonderful tool. I, I know that it's a lot of girls that are gonna love it. Look at this cute and the green one. Let's try a couple of, of them. Let's try the, with the green. Do the same any size is the same process okay you do the loops on the size each side is one loop so be careful and don't let it go loose sometimes you're gonna have a little time putting it through just make it patiently and put it in the back with these pocket dots, um, or whatever this ribbon is called, with the dots or the lines, stitches, you gotta be careful how you put it, okay, when you pull it. Now we just have to go through the loop that you just created and pull it. Let's twist it a little bit here, flip it over. And pull it, and we are done. Can't believe it. Look at this. This is one side of the bow, but if you turn it around, you will see how beautiful it will come out. All right? Now slide it out. Just trim the edges. You can put a glue dot and put it on top of your card or on top of your whatever project you're making. It is very affordable and it's awesome. It's too close to the camera, but it's very pretty, isn't it? All right, the, the green one is the one that is my favorite. 
All right, let's try the big one. The big ribbon, the widest ribbon that I have, which is one inch. And um, let's try it with this side. I think my bow is a little short. My ribbon is a little short, but let's try it anyways. Let's see if we can make it with, sometimes we cut the ribbon too short or we have a leftover of some other project. And let's see if we can make it. Right, this is not as long as the others. As you can see, I'm having a hard time tying it, but not as much as I used to have without the tool. Just pull it. Remember that the, the side that you are tying is going to be the back, the one that is going to be glued right here to the to your project. So the one that you're going to be careful with the dots and the lines is the front. See, I could make it, and here is the front. And we're done. Slide it out, trim the edges, and voila. Perfect. There you go. Okay. I hope you like it. I loved it. Thank you, Sharon. And if you want to order your own, Sharon is willing to sell them to us. And I think if I order them all together, we can um, get a better shipping price. So, log into my blog. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.